Aloha, I'm Tulsi Gabbard and I have the privilege and honor of representing Hawaii's 2nd District here in the United States Congress. The citizens of Hawaii do not currently have the ability to know if their food has been genetically engineered or not. This concerns me and I think you should be concerned as well. I hope you'll join me, Senator Russ Rudiman, Representative Jessica Woolley and Councilman Gary Hooser in supporting the labeling of genetically engineered foods. Mahalo. Now islands are very fragile, and yet the most lethal planting material has not just been imported here, but has been multiplied here by the biotech industry. GMOs are the most destructive thing happening in Hawaii today. Those poisons are going in your food. They're in the air you breathe, the water you drink every day. We need to stop those poisons. We're ground zero for this chemical corn, chemical soy, these experimental field crops of transgenic commodity crops that have been crossed without any disclosure. These are pesticide companies. They've bought up much of the seed supply. Monsanto in particular has prohibited seed savings, so farmers always have to go back to the companies to buy new seed each year. The use of herbicides in these GMO trials in Hawaii is magnitudes greater than what's used in conventional agriculture. Conducting field tests of GMO seeds is a completely different story from regular production of crops. In an island where we should have diversity and is a garden island, you are getting the worst of violent agriculture like wool. The biotechnology companies often say that overall genetically engineered crops cut pesticide use. In fact, overall it increases pesticide use 115 million more pounds a year. January 15, 2012, Olehua was hit with a pretty bad dust storm coming from Monsanto's fields. Shortly after, our son, who was six months at that time, developed a really bad cough. And it was so bad that we had to take him to the emergency room. When I saw that our family was directly affected by living near these fields, I decided to get involved to research these companies and to find out what it was that they were doing on our island. Money is a key driver in this debate. The GMO companies fund the public institutions to do research on their behalf. It's very difficult to find support for independent researchers who want to study the negative impacts of GMO crops on the environment or human health. In recent ads, Monsanto says that uh, these genetically engineered crops will feed the world. Nothing could be further from the truth. As a matter of fact, in 2009, the Union of Concerned Scientists came out with a report called Failure to Yield. Not one of these genetically engineered crops actually increases yield. Not one. The vast majority of these crops are corn and soy. The, over 95% of all corn and soy is used for cars and to feed cattle. And that is not something that most poor people are starving need. For one pound of factory farm beef, uh, you need roughly 16 pounds of GMO feed. Economically, that simply does not work without subsidies. So we're directly subsidizing this with our tax dollars. The, the true costs are the ones that we bear, the costs that these companies don't capture in their financial reports and balance sheets. The health care costs uh, associated with, uh, with loss of work time and, and quality of life. How about the, uh, the dead soil and the water that uh, pesticides leave behind for us to deal with? If you don't really calculate these things, the companies are essentially making a profit while others are bearing the costs. In 2011, hundreds of Waimea residents filed suit to protect their town and community from dust and pesticides from DuPont Pioneer's GMO research operation in Waimea. But what this example of Waimea shows is that you cannot trust these companies we are going to be successful if we all join together and rise together in unity. On our island, we fight for love. Feet on the ground, planted to the aina, and you know, we fight for tomorrow. Now that you've listened to me, take that information, take that knowledge, and now you go and go, go forth. We are setting that example for the next generation.